Alrighty, so let's see. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I just woke up. I meant to wake up at eight in the morning. So uh, let's uh, let's get this rebuild started. How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Tampa Bay Rays, a team that in real life has actually been pretty solid. They look like they're they're legit contenders now for a playoff spot. So if you guys want to see some more rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Like I've been saying in the past few videos, we're like this close to 10K subs. I mean, like we're, we're, we're close. So let's see if we can hit that pretty soon. And then as always in the comment section, leave some comments. Let me know which video you guys want to see next and which team we should rebuild next. I'm going to start cranking out a lot more rebuilds um, because I want to, I want to finish the teams and I want to start getting into some other uh, style rebuilds. So I definitely want to, um, finish up these rebuilds. I'm hoping by this month we'll have to see how that goes though. So let's get into it without any further ado. Let's let's talk about this team a little bit because there are some players that I definitely want to move. When we quickly look at just the budget, like looking at contracts and stuff, Charlie Morton's a player I want to move because he's going to decrease in rating. Um, Snell, I'm cool with keeping throughout the whole entirety of the the rebuild kevin kiermeyer is kind of a if he does well we'll keep him if not we can trade him because he does have value um is this brandon low or low we're just gonna call him brandon so i don't keep messing him up same with nate because i know one's low one's low i should have done my research but i didn't because i just woke up so let's let's just get into it as you guys can see really the the contract that i'm worried about the most is morton um outside of that the contracts in general are pretty good we got a lot of good youth prospects for pitchers. We got Honeywell, McKay, we got Liebertor. Um, so we, we got we got some good names down here. Uh, De Leon's here, Faria. But for, this, for the most part, really, Morton's the only player I'm looking to move. Maybe just pick up somebody for a season or two. I'm um, looking at relief hitching. There are a couple aging players like Drake and Rowe that I would look to move. Everybody else, I'm cool with. They usually develop. They're still in their mid-20s. We should be okay there. Most of them are beef potential as well. Closing pitchers, Alvarado, we're set. Um, catcher, Zunino, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to trade him just because he normally just doesn't do well. And he always decreases in rating. First base, we got we got G-Man. He's the man. You know, we can't, we can't trade him season one just yet. We also have Nate. So first baseman, we should be okay for a season or two. Brandon we're good robertson develops quite nicely wendell so we got a good like second base third base like platoon right here shorts or third base we got yandy diaz who if you don't know yandy diaz his forearms are like tree trunks this dude is built like a just unreal he's huge so he should have a lot more power i'm gonna see how well he develops he's actually looking like a quality third baseman right now in real life i'm gonna see how it goes Matt Duffy, maybe a player I look to move um, just because we already have a lot of like second base, third base players that we can use. And Christian Arroyo has a good amount of trade value. He never really develops until like 29, 28. So he might be a player I move just because of his trade value. Shortstop, I'm going to see how Willie Adamas does. He either does very, very well or he kind of is meh. Like he normally hits like the mid 80s, high 80s, you know, low 90s. But I want to see if he can get there pretty quickly. Normally, I see him hit that mark when he's like 30. So I'm kind of hoping we can get to that mark a little bit earlier. We also do have, I think this is, uh, yeah, Wander Franco, who looks like he's going to be really good too. We got Velasquez. Tommy Pham, he's a solid left fielder for a good three or four seasons. Avisel Garcia might be a player I move. We also do have Jesus Sanchez. Kiermaier, like I said, if he does well, we'll keep him. If not, we'll trade him. And Austin Meadows isn't going anywhere. He's going to be our right fielder for the future. So there's that. There's the team. Let's make a couple moves because I don't want to change too much. I maybe want to pick up one starter, one reliever, and then maybe just a, a, a young prospect for the bench. So let's see how that goes. Catch you guys in a sec. All right, so the first one we're going to do is Christian Arroyo for Josh James and Framber Valdez. Both are more of a long relievers, but I think, you know, they're young. They've got decent potential. They're not a bad overall already. They're already higher rated than Christian Arroyo as well. And I wanted to get a little bit, you know, just some young players in the bullpen um, to kind of help with the fact that we do have Rowe, Kolarek, and Drake. So I want to see if we can get a little bit younger players in there to help out and see how that goes. Um, maybe by season three, season four, they're really, 
they're really ready to help us out in the bullpen so there's one trade it's not really going to help us out too much now but i'm thinking more like down the line um when we need some help matt duffy ryan sheriff and adam kolarek are going to be traded for alex claudio i know i've been picking up a lot uh him a lot recently but i feel like every time we do pick him up he always leaves in free agency the next season so hopefully we can lock him down this time um with the arbitration um he's a good lefty he develops very quickly and um, I wanted to get another strong lefty in the bullpen to help us out anyways. Uh, Thomas Malone and, or Maloney, I don't know, who cares? Uh, Mike Zunino uh, for Jorge Alfaro of the Marlins. Like I said, Zunino is a player that normally decreases very quickly for me for some reason. Every single time I get him, he does poorly. So we're going to pick up Jorge Alfaro. He's young. He's a 77 overall. I think this is kind of helping us out with uh, just another position that should grow very quickly for us. Lucius Fox, Jermaine Palacios, and Charlie Morton are going to be traded for Jaron Kendall, Alex Verdugo, and Hyunjin Ryu of the Dodgers. Um, I know Ryu's a, kind of on the, you know, a little bit past, you know, the point where I would trade for. But again, I wanted to get a pitcher for just one year, see if we can get somebody in free agency, or just get rid of that Morton contract. And that, that was the way to do it. We also get some players with, you know, good potential, good overalls already at the age of 22, 24, or, you know, 22. So, you know, we get some prospects as well. I kind of I kind of like this move. So to start the season, this is how we're looking. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look amazing, for sure. Um, it definitely could be a little bit stronger. But I want to see how the team is going to do right now. Um, and then add players as we need to. This season in real life, I don't know if the Rays will make the playoffs. Maybe it's a wild card team. That's what I'm hoping for in this save season one. Um, really, the only change that we made to the lineup was Alfaro is joining in the catcher spot. Um, every, everything else is kind of remaining the same. Um, and then the, the bullpen, obviously, we have um, Claudio. And then we brought in Ryu. So not many more, not many changes right now. We brought in a couple prospects that are helping, that I'm hoping are helping us in the future. So uh, I'll see you guys at draft day. See how things go. Season one's draft, not not terrible actually. You know, Lewis Greenwood for our first pick looks solid. 72 overall. He was one of the best players available in the first round. Um, 89 potential. Definitely gonna sign him up. The next highlight, Tim Washington, 90 potential, 66 overall. He was our third round pick because we had a uh, compensation pick so that that's a good one and the other kind of highlight is chris Bar Becerra, 68 overall shortstop i know we don't really need another one but we could always move him to like second base or something if necessary so three decent looking picks a couple mid 70s but not too bad for the first year all right season one we're gonna make a trade uh for carlos martinez of the cardinals in the bullpen we're gonna trade hyunjin ryu um, because his contract expires at the end of the year he's not having a bad season at all and he normally does very very well for another couple seasons um but i figured let's make a trade let's get rid of avisel garcia as well because he's a player who's actually decreasing in rating and i probably wasn't going to re-sign him anyways um this way we get a really good bullpen arm season one didn't go too well uh 69 and 93 it went pretty rough uh some things clearly didn't work let's take a look austin meadows is up to a 76 his potential is going down, though, which I don't understand because he had a really good year. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Tommy Pham, like I said, he's usually consistent for that, like another two, three years. So we should be good. Um, his contract is up after next season. So we'll have, to, we'll have to see how he does. Yandy Diaz, 244. I might give him one more year just to see how he does. Um, so we'll, we'll see. G-Man Choi, I mean, that's, those are good numbers. I might keep him at first base until uh, Nate Lau Low uh, is ready because I know he's not too far off and like his stats don't look bad either. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, Brandon's up to an 82. I know he develops quite well. We just got to get those hitting stats a little bit better. Daniel Robertson um, is doing quite well also. So, I mean, we're looking good with that second base, third base kind of area sorted. Um, Jorge Alfaro. Ah, man, I wish it was a little, a little bit better. Kevin Kiermaier is going up. Awesome. Love to see that. And William Adamas is going up. His potential is going down, which I don't understand because uh, those are good numbers as well. On the bench, we have Darno, Verdugo, and Wendell. Verdugo went up quite a bit too. I think six overall since we traded for him, which is awesome to see. Let's look at the pitching. Snell was amazing. The wins and losses aren't there, but that's fine. Faria, not bad in his appearances. Um, very, very solid. Low ERA. Awesome to see. Good whip. Perfect. Glasnow, 
I'm kind of hoping he continues to grow a little bit more. Um, we'll have to see how he does. Chirinos. Okay. Those are good numbers. Those are good numbers. You know, a 3-6 ERA for a four starter. I, I'm cool with that for sure. And Yarbrough, a little rough. But like I said, we have a lot of good prospects in the system. So I'm not really worried about picking up too many starting pitchers right now. Jalen Beeks. Eh. You know, Stanek in this spot was not as good as he was in a middle relief spot. So we'll have to keep that and uh, keep that in consideration. Another thing the Rays do is they use an opener. So they usually have a long reliever go two innings two three innings and then they put the starter in so it's kind of like we can't really do that in this so it's it's kind of weird so let's see Chaz Rowe, yikes pagan yikes claudio yikes carlos martinez i mean he's, he's good you know and alvarado not too good in this closing spot so we, we might have to find a closer maybe move carlos martinez there um so really quick let's look at some of our prospects leon mckay libertor band does there Awesome, awesome. Honeywell, did he drop? I just like yeah, he did. Mm. He's the one in real life I think is coming off of Tommy John, right? I believe so. Josh James is up to a 70. Um, where is uh, Fran Valdez? He's 69. Okay, so we got some prospects there. Catching Michael Perez is here. So hitting-wise, he doesn't look that great. But we'll have to see how he does in a couple seasons. Um, he, might be a, he, he might be our backup. Or if Alfaro doesn't do well, he might be our starter. Um, Nate there, uh, we got Vidal Brujan, who's up to a 67. Okay, that's good to see. Franco, Wander Franco's looking really good. Okay, we, we may have a, a shortstop competition in a couple seasons. Center field, we got Jaron Kendall from the Dodgers that we traded for. He's gone up a couple overalls, which is good to see. And then Verdugo, like I said, went up a little bit too. So season one, not that great. Let's quickly see who uh, wins the World Series. Oh! It says we had a something. We had a ward. What do we win? A gold glove. All right. I'm glad I, I stopped the sim for that. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's let's move fast. The season was a bust. Dodgers defeated the Yankees. All right. Keep going. Come on. Retired players. Eric Kratz. Doesn't matter. We didn't really have him anyways. Uh, exclusive negotiations. Not going to sign anybody. So let's see how this goes here. Arbitration. Smolinski and Rowe are the only two that won't get it there. Um, and contracts. Um, yeah, should be everybody. Uh, not Drake. Probably not Drake. We'll probably look to bring in somebody else. Season 2 is going to start with us trading it for uh, a lefty. Jace Fry for Emilio Pagan and Jalen Beeks. Um, so we're going to we'll make a trade with the White Sox. Um, and this is kind of how our team is going to be looking for now. Um, we picked up JT Chargois. I didn't want to pick up a Rule 5 draft player, but the CPU did it anyways. Um, I didn't really want anybody there. Um, I think we have a better reliever we could pick up. Uh, we brought in Jesse Biddle from Free Agency. We do have a couple other young players down here as well. Um, I, do, I like the way the team looks. I feel like we could definitely bring up um, a hitter. So who are we going to probably bring up Michael Perez for now because we do need a, a backup catcher. Um, but otherwise, I mean, the team, the team hasn't changed much, um, in terms of signings or anything. You guys can see the team here. Um, I'm going to give it one more season with kind of like the main core of the team and then really start to make changes three, four, five. Uh, we didn't make any free agent signings that were big. Um, Chargua was a rule five pickup. Uh, I picked up this guy, Vladimir Gill. He was in free agency. Don't know. I think he was a, it was a draft pick that didn't get signed. We're going to pick him up. Left fielder. Looks okay. Looks pretty good. Um, and then we picked up Jesse Biddle, like I mentioned, um, in free agency. Stats don't look too bad. If anything, he'll grow pretty quickly or he'll become a trade piece. Um, so that's really about it for season two. I don't want to make too many changes like I just said. Again, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the team. I like the players. And then there's some players I'm, I'm starting not to like. Seasons 2 draft as a whole was pretty bad for like everybody. Um, we did get a couple decent little picks though. Uh, Miguel Ortega was a 5th round pick. 87 potential, 60 overall. Um, not bad. Definitely not bad. We got Diego Manzanillo. 58 overall, 76 potential. Not too bad either. Um, the rest were pretty bad outside of our first pick. We had the 4th overall pick I believe it was. 
Fernando Valencia, 69 overall, 92 potential. I like I like those. Um, he only's only got three pitches, but I like this pick a lot. Um, overall, three picks aren't bad, so we'll we'll see. But um, that's that's season two's draft. All right, season two finishes us or sees us finish 96 and 66. We won the wild card spot, um, which is awesome to see. Um, let's take a quick look at our team, see how things are going. Kiermaier was our leadoff hitter this year. You can see he's actually hitting the ball quite well. That was the one thing I was worried about him. And, I mean, he's delivering. I can't complain about that. Verdugo's up to a 71. It's almost 10 ratings in two seasons, which is great to see. I definitely think he could be a, a really good bench bat for us um, down the line if he continues to grow like this. Tommy Pham is a 90. Like he, like I said, he just continues to get better. Um, you know, he hits free agency this year. I might give him a one-year deal, see how he does. G-Man Choi, I think he's going to be capped out here in terms of rating so he might be a player that i look to replace um you know we got a lot of like second base third base options can yandy diaz play first he can and he hits the ball a little bit better doesn't have the power just yet but i think he could be a potential replacement for first base that allows us to um play brandon lau i think it's brandon lau um so we could use him we could use robertson um, Yandy Diaz at first and then maybe get a third baseman or even get it just a new first baseman We'll have to see um, how things work there, but let's take a look. Let's see how everybody's doing Meadows hit 250 um, I Needed I need a little bit better out of him. We got him Brandon's doing pretty well Adamas Alfaro and Diaz so could he used a, a little bit higher here in terms of um, average for sure. So let's keep going overall the team I mean, they did well. They made the playoffs. So Blake Snell, amazing. You know, the whip, a little bit high, but still good numbers. Yarborough, those are really good numbers. A three ERA, the whip's about 1.2. Chirinos, 1.2 in whip, good ERA, very good ERA. So he's looking like he's going to be a really good pitcher for us. We have Glasnow, who's doing eh. He might be a player that we could replace down the line. We have McKay, we have Greenwood, De Leon, Banda, Honeywell. We even have these guys down here. We're looking really solid as well. Um, going back here, though, let's see here. Faria, another player I'd probably be looking to replace in a couple seasons anyway. So Carlos Martinez is doing really good in this long relief role. If we really wanted to, we could even move him here. Um, but I think that's kind of cheating since in real life he's more of a bullpen arm. Uh, Josh James didn't do too badly here. Claudio, solid. Stanek, better than last year. Jace Fry is doing all right. Chargua. Eh, it was a one-year player. I don't think I'll bring him back. Castillo, it says he's going down, but he's doing really good. So I don't see why that's the case. And Alvarado did really well as well. So awesome, awesome stuff. Let's take a quick look and see how these prospects are doing. Really solid. <coughs> All right, it's getting to the point. Is it is it really a a, a franchise rebuild without me sneezing, <laughs> sneezing in the video? Um, Tim Washington was a player that we drafted in the first season. Hernandez... We drafted him? I think we did. I mean, he looks really good. Now I need to check that next season. If, I think he was a player we drafted. He looks really good. Um, We got Nate here. who's looking like he could be our first baseman in the future. Um, Vidal Brujan. Like, our infield is stacked. We got Franco here. Velasquez, Becerra. Vladimir Gill for outfield. I, like we, I don't really know what I want to change with this team. The more I think about it, I think this might just be a let up, let things go and see how see how it goes. So let's see. First game, we win five to four. We're taking on the Astros now, and because I want Snell pitching in a bit, let's put him there. Let's go like that. All right, cool. So let's see how this goes with the Astros. We get the win. We get another win, and we swept the Astros. Okay. And we're taking on the rest Red Sox. So let's get our um, rotation back to the normal status it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. So against the Red Sox, ooh, we got our first loss. And we're facing elimination in the ALCS. Whoever wins is taking on the Mets. Yeah, the Mets. Okay. So not too bad there. Let's quick manage this one. <clears throat> Blake Snell is going to be taking the mound at Fenway. Um, he's been pitching very well this offseason. Or not th this offseason, the postseason. Um, and let's let's get into it. So, start off with the double. Okay. 
a fly out, a strikeout, and we can't take advantage of it. The Red Sox look exactly the same. Awesome, awesome start. They got the lead, but like I was saying, um, they look exactly the same as they normally do. Another leadoff double. Can we take advantage of it though? Again, no, we can't, which is unfortunate to see. There we go, Robertson gets the home run. It ties up the game. Perfect, a single, all right. Another single, come on. We're, how many runners, in, that's what? Five runners in scoring position, four runners in scoring position, and we haven't taken advantage of it at all. All right, so far we're doing good. I mean, we're tied, another double, come on. We gotta do, pff, what is going on? And then of course, JD Martinez gives them the lead. They get two runs there. Blake Snell's done. Unfortunately, ah, man, that is, that's rough. Let's go to Stanek. Mm, one run scores. And it is a three run game. We got six outs left to make something happen. And unfortunately, our time is running out here. Um, He's struggling today. Let's go to him. He's struggling in the postseason too. All right, a little two-out magic maybe. We get eliminated after that. Oh, the runners in scoring position hurt. So let's go into it. It was a good run though, very good run. They ended up winning the, the World Series, the Red Sox. It was a good run. So let's quickly take a look. Any exclusive negotiations um, for our team? No exclusive negotiations. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, let's take a look. Uh, arbitration <clears throat> oh we get one more year of arbitration with fam so we'll probably offer them that year and then everybody else will get arbitration contracts wise Chargua won't get one but um, everybody else will season three is gonna start like this we are acquiring Chris Paddock of the Padres for Guillermo Heredia um, Joey Wendell and then the big piece here is one of our a potential pitchers in uh, Matthew Libertor the thing is, we got a lot of good pitching prospects, so I'm not like freaking out about losing one of them, um, especially when we're acquiring Chris Paddock. So that's that's kind of a big move for us. So the reason I um, traded Wendell was because we got Nicky Lopez, formerly of the Royals. Um, he was a he was a free agent even when the season started. Um, so he made it through spring training, all that stuff. So I figured, you know what? Let's sign him up. He's been pretty solid the last two seasons. All right, we're doing another big trade. Um, I don't want to trade Wander Franco away because he looks like he's going to be a phenomenal shortstop. The thing is, we're going to bring in Eloy Jimenez. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. I didn't really want to trade Franco away because he looks like he's going to be really, really good. Um, I mean, his stats look good already. But we have Adamas. We have Becerra. We have Velasquez down here. So let's bring in... Maybe the air to left field spot with Tommy Pham here. Let me get the, the lineups all sorted out. I think it, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, there's our DH now. And then ah, we got to get Eloy in here somehow. All right, let's, let's just put him at DH for sure. And then, yeah, let's just rock with it like this for now. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get Eloy in for somehow. Um, not too sure how, unless we do like, move him to right field. Um, just because Austin Meadows hasn't hit the ball well. So we'll do that. There's that. We've already seen the pitching rotation. It looks like this. It looks unreal. It looks really strong. I like the way it looks. I think we're good all in terms of roster and everything. So yeah, season three finishes with us being again a postseason team this time again a wild card team and again we're taking on the yankees 92 and 70 on the year so let's take a look at the team we had a couple league leaders blake snell and era and war which is awesome to see um let's take a look at the lineup so austin meadows hit 273 we moved him up to the lineup spot and it's actually looking like that might be the spot for him i know that's been kind of where he is in the lineup for the rays anyways Robertson's up to an 86. Um, he hit 290. He looks really good. Tommy Pham um, still kind of holding out in that same role, like same spot overall wise. Doing really good. So it's kind of like, man, did we trade for Eloy maybe a season too early? Um, he hit 250, 30 home runs.
100 RBIs. Not bad, though. Definitely some good run production there. Brandon Lowe, Lau, whatever his name is, he's up to an 86. He hit 240 this year, which is a little bit down from previous years. Same with home run and RBI production. So, yikes, maybe. Yikes. Uh, Willie Adamas, he's slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. This is his best offensive year for sure. Yandy Diaz. He's getting those power numbers, um, but he might be might be a player I look to replace. Um, that way we can actually get like a, a good power hitting first baseman or something like that. Jorge Alfaro, best offensive season um, in terms of average and on base percentage. Home runs and RBIs went down a little bit, and then Kevin Kiermaier dropped down to down in the lineup. But I mean, 260 isn't bad for a player not known to really hit the ball. Um, Michael Perez is up to a 78. He's getting better and better. Um, Mickey Lopez. He's at 84, so he's looking like a good little platoon player. And Verdugo, it may be time to find someone else instead of Verdugo in that bench role. Uh, Blake Snell, pff, Blake Snell, unreal. Uh, Yarbrough did really well, 3.36 ERA, solid. The whip, again, is a little high, but it's still solid. Whip is good for Chirinos, ERA below 3, awesome. Paddock, 3.81 wish the whip or I wish the era was a little bit lower but the whip is good and then glasnow is any of these guys ready to come up yet because uh glasnow's kind of letting me down it's kind of letting me down so we'll have to keep an eye on that um looking at the the bullpen josh james not bad for a long reliever framber valdez not bad as well the whip's a little high for both of these guys but the eras are solid castillo solid um claudio hmm he's not doing as well as i would have hoped he hits free agency this year, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Stanek, amazing. Jace Fry, solid. Great setup, man, and Carlos Martinez and Alvarado. Whew, killed it. So we're looking good on the, like the bullpen wise. For once, our bullpen's looking very, very solid. Knock on wood that we don't mess that up. Um, but we also do have Jesse Biddle here who could come up if you know someone isn't panning out. We have all these pitching prospects that we may need to trade for somebody. Because I feel like Someone, someone's going to fall apart here. I don't know who it's going to be. Ronaldo Hernandez potential went down a little bit, which sucks. But, you know, it happens. We do have Nate here, who could be our first baseman. Now that he's up to a 77, that's a possibility. Uh, Vidal Brujan's making his way up still. Who else? Who else? Velasquez, Becerra. Becerra hits lefties very well. Um, Left fielder. Look at all these B potential players. Sanchez, Gomez. We have uh, Gil, who's slowly getting better and better and better, you know, so we definitely need to keep an eye on that. And then right field, man, we got some names. We got some names for sure. So we, we may, we may need to make some moves in the off season, trade some players away, but let's see how the postseason goes against the Yankees. We won one to nothing. This time we're taking on the um who are we taking on the red sox we're taking on the red sox oh man that was bad but let's take a look let's see how things go we get the loss we get another loss so elimination game let's quickly quick manage it see how things go do we go snell i feel like we have to go snell let's do snell against the red sox who beat us last time so they added Josh Reddick, George Springer, Carlos Santana. This is a this is a completely new Red Sox team that we played from last year. Again, we got Snell on the mound. Can we take advantage of it though? Last time it killed us. We had runners in scoring position and we didn't score. And this time they take a 2-0 lead. We even have Danny Salazar, who's a new pitcher for them on the mound. Alfaro, Kiermaier. Okay, bases loaded for Meadows. Uh, again. Runners in scoring position. I think that's the season. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's eight runs in the third. 17 to 2. Oh boy, we got the Red Sox are killing us this year. I mean this this rebuild in general. The Phillies defeat the Red Sox. Let's just keep going. We got we gotta we gotta figure something out and get past these Red Sox because they are killing us right now. So let's take a look. How much does he want? Because he's really good. He's consistent. I can't pay that for a 34 year old. Sorry, bud. Your time at the the at the uh, at the race. Jeez, 
I don't know what's going on with me. Your time at the Rays was amazing. He's a great left fielder to pick up if you need a left fielder for three, four seasons. But 11 million at 34 years old, I just can't. I can't justify it. Can't justify it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to offer him a contract. We're going to give him one more shot. Um, uh, we got two coaches. I'll fill those out. Um, let's get into it. Let's keep going. Um, arbitration. Anybody here that I don't want to offer? No, everybody's getting one. Everybody's getting that. Uh, contracts. Looking at it. Yeah, everyone's going to get a contract. Already right, season four. Again, not a lot of changes just because... Like, I feel like we have a good team and it's just all about letting the, t the team grow. You know, looking at our starting rotation, it's really stacked. Um, our, I mean, we probably are going to have to trade some of these guys eventually just because it, they're just there's too many prospects. And we, we're probably going to need to make a change at one point from the lineup or the starting rotation or the bullpen. My big concern right now is I want to see how Nate does at first base. And then um, Willie Adamas is kind of on my my chopping block. We might need to find a new shortstop. I have one in mind. It's just I don't want to trade just yet. Uh, we do have like Nicky Lopez who could probably place uh, could stay at second. We can move either. We could probably move him. No, who is it? He can play shortstop. He's got decent fielding as well. Or we could trade one of these like second basemen that we have um, and Adamas for maybe a new shortstop. That's kind of my big my big question right now. Our, our farm system is nuts like pitching wise it's really strong uh we got a couple good prospects we got Vidal Brujan who we do like that kind of hurts us with the the middle infield thing we got Velasquez Becerra um even the outfield's looking kind of stacked Gill we got Kendall Rayner Whitley so it's like we have a lot of players that need to be moved um to kind of make us a little bit better it's just I don't know where to make those changes so for now, we're going to leave it like this. See how season four goes. Season four, we finally won the division 104 and 58. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. And uh, we, had, we had a good season. League leaders, Austin Meadows for triples, which is cool to see. Uh, Omar Narvaez was the best in batting average. But we had the rookie of the year and a gold glove. So let's take a look. Austin Meadows up to an 86 had a great year. Almost 300 average, 21 home runs. There we go. We're finally seeing the Austin Meadows. That he like the potential is there the potential was there he's finally living up to the potential robertson's still performing very well um he hits free agency this year though so we definitely need to sign him back nate low lao whatever his name is phenomenal first year in the bigs definitely going to be our first baseman eloy jimenez who crazy numbers right there um brandon's doing really well 87 almost 300 average adamas is finally starting to grow a little bit he hit almost 300 84 overall nikki lopez alfaro there we go i was kind of wondering is alfaro gonna live up to some hype and that's what i was looking for from him and kiermeyer as long as he doesn't decrease i'm fine and then our bench is okay not too bad not too great snell okay still respectable numbers yarborough are you serious crazy good numbers paddock the era is kind of high it actually jumped up quite a bit um, at the midway point, like the trade deadline, he was at like a 3-5. So it looks like the second half got a little rough for him. Glasnow, okay, that's a little bit better. And then Chirinos, what happened to Chirinos? He was killing it. And then he just fell off. So he might he might be replaced. McKay, McKay's right there. So is Greenwood. So, I mean, they're right there. They're not too far behind. So we definitely could see some, uh, some moves being made. Um, let's look at the bullpen. Okay. Castillo's good. Claudio, okay, okay, okay. Alvarado, yikes. Fry, all right, that's solid. And then Martinez. Yeah, we, we swapped these three around a little bit just because Alvarado is struggling in the closing role. Fry, though, whew, he's lights out. Let's take a look at some of our prospects really quick because McKay might be a player I bring up next season if Torinos is struggling. Even Greenwood, he's looking pretty good too. Um, bullpen, we got Biddle still. I mean, he's still not better than what we currently have. Um, we might bring up Ronaldo Hernandez next season to back up uh, Alfaro. I want to get Bruhan in, but he doesn't—he just doesn't get into the team just yet. We have Gill, who might be taking over for Verdugo unless Verdugo gets like a big boost in the offseason. So overall, the team is still looking like really, really good. We're going to be taking on the Mariners and... 
course we get a of course we get a game five let's 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 hop into it we're home <sighs> let's go blake snell let's go blake snell so they got bishop brendan rogers carlos correa vogelbach okay some pretty interesting players there blake snell what is with you in the playoffs lately you're just struggling Tehran is taking the mound for them eloy somebody like let's get some hits there we go with damas ties the game for us all right then we give up the lead okay awesome first and second bases loaded for adamas man he's on one today then we go nikki lopez gives us a two-run lead kiermeyer makes it a three-run lead okay all right that's what i like to see adamas keep it going today all right first out of the first out of the day for him but that's all right we're still doing pretty solid can't complain about the way the team's doing even austin meadows gives us the lead and we're definitely advancing after this that was snell's last inning adamas is killing it two for three today who i don't even nicky lopez is four for four okay all right so you know what we'll let snell go since um okay no 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 um what <laughs> yikes okay okay that got a little interesting really quickly i was saying like game over but what happens they come back nikki lopez five for five are you serious unreal unreal stuff all right so eighth inning double play all right alvarado goes no more um righty i think we got to go to martinez now there it is there it is um who nikki lopez four ribbies five for five on the day we advance got a little, little close there so blake snell can't pitch he just pitched so let's move him yeah let's do that let's do it let's do it let's do it let's see how we go against the indians facing elimination already yikes oh no i don't want to play the full game um so we're going against trevor bauer it looks like we're in cleveland let's go yarborough so let's see how we get started come on no hits all right so they got Marte. there's a new that's a new one conforto dietrich okay so some new names zimmerd goes deep makes it a one run game all right we get a hit we got a hit at least a double for dietrich all right we get a single there can we do anything with it one out no unfortunate so we're getting we're getting some hits at least we're getting some hits it's just nothing's nothing's happening you know what i mean it's still pretty quiet all right meadows somebody we got to do something it's already going into the seventh all right here we go no oh man all right that was his last inning for sure eighth inning nikki lopez alfaro kiermeyer man all right um let's go to stanick really standing you got to let me down right there so we're down three a pop-up man trevor bauer destroyed us three hits in nine innings we get eliminated there in the alcs again that's twice now we haven't been able to make it past that spot so season five let's see if we can do it the brewers defeated the indians um no one retired for us exclusive negotiations kevin kiermeyer had your worst season by far uh what do you want what do you want 22 mil you're one of the best let's do let's bring it down a little bit i mean he's still he's still gonna be good we can't we can't pass it up um i'll do that later so let's take a look 40 man we got to make sure we add all those guys um arbitration yeah i mean again everybody's gonna get it contracts wise everybody's gonna get one season five we're getting a new third baseman in rafael devers he's been hitting the ball very very well the last three seasons so we need a new third baseman i feel like we're gonna get rid of armando francisco and brandon lau low um he's going down we have plenty of other second base slash third baseman we can use all right next trade we're making is kyle crick is going to be joining our bullpen um, for Jesse Biddle and Josh James. And I think that might be it for trades. Um, I think so. I think. 
Um, so let's take a let's take a quick look at everything. Make sure we got everything set up the way I want it to. Mm, yeah, I think so. We just gotta send somebody down. So let me take a look and see who that's gonna be. Um, I think it's gonna be Verdugo. Yeah, we're gonna send down Verdugo. Unfortunately, his time has come. So yeah, here's the team uh, with the new addition of Devers. It looks really good. You know, that's basically the only change here. We brought up Ronaldo Hernandez and Vidal Brujan. We could probably use an outfielder um, on the bench, but at the same time, it's not it's not the biggest deal. Our bo our s rotation looks still very strong. Brendan McKay is going to jump up instead of Chirinos since he's been struggling lately. Our bullpen, I think they're going to do really well. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't. They've been doing very solid for us throughout the entirety of this rebuild. So if they fell apart now, that would really suck. Um, on top of that, we still have a crazy amount of good players. I really wanted to get some more prospects involved. Um, but I feel like the team was just continuously growing, continuously getting better. Um, so it was, it was tough to get some of these players involved. Um, like I wanted to see if I can get him in. But that would mean we'd have to send down Bruhan. So... So far, I like the team we assembled here. They look really good. Season 5, a post-season team as a wild card. And guess what? We're playing the Yankees again. Um, 99-64. League leaders, it looks like our pitching was solid. Carlos Martinez is looking like a crazy good closer to pick up. Um, Blake Snell won the Cy Young. So, okay. Um, let's take a look at our lineup. Austin Meadows looks so good. Holy cow. Solid season again. Daniel Robertson, pretty consistent this entirety um, of this rebuild. Eloy Jimenez is a 96. Average-wise, it dipped a little bit, but he's looking like a solid pickup. Devers, a little bit of a down year, unfortunately, since, uh, once we traded for him, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to freak out about it. Alfaro's been up and down, um, but, I mean, the last two seasons, previous two seasons, he was pretty consistent. Now he's back down to 240. Adamus whoa 332 i told you when he's like 27 28 29 he starts to reach his his like good ability and that it's really showing nikki lopez still about an 86 decent season kiermeyer 94 brought his average back up and lao low never really knows but <laughs> never well i don't really know but home runs rbi is pretty similar and average is pretty pretty similar as the year before our bench um not too bad Bruins up to 87. He might have to go to the starting lineup um, for sure for the postseason. Snell, 235 strikeouts, ERA 319, whip 1.15. Unreal. Paddock, solid season as well. Glasnow, there we go. Like Glasnow's finally starting to get that ERA down, which is great to see. Yarbrough. Yikes. Two fours. Like he's been just unreal the last two seasons. Just crazy. We brought up Greenwood. Because McKay was struggling. And even Greenwood wasn't doing that well either. Um, I just like this. Okay with the long relief. Not the best. It's looking like our bullpen finally fell apart. Maybe? I don't... It just it just doesn't look right. Something... You know, there's a lot of high ERAs there. Let's quickly take a peek at some of our prospects. Um, you guys can see there's a lot of good ones. The thing is, I can't bring them up because it's the playoffs now. Um, but our pitching is stacked. Um... Washington looks really good for the future. Um, what do we got here? Velasquez is an 80. We haven't even brought him up yet. Becerra is almost an 80. We drafted him. He looks really good. Gill's an 85. We haven't even used him. And then Verdugo is an 80. So we got we got we got like a copious amount of players that we just can't use, and they're just sitting in the the farm system. So let's. Let's quick manage this game. It is season five. Let's see how it pans out. I feel like Snell's been rocked so much. So let's use let's use Chris Paddock. Let's see how that goes. Danny Santana at shortstop. Crawford, Torres, Stanton, Voigt, Hicks, Ruiz. Okay, so some new faces for sure. We're playing Sevy, or we're going against Sevy, which um, my dog just scratched at the door. That's why I was like, what's going on? But 
So we're going against Sevi. Last time I think we faced Sevi, we got absolutely destroyed. Like we didn't, I don't think we scored. And we're down 2 nothing to start this game. So not the best. I think Paddock got rocked a little bit that one. Yeah, stamina is already down to half, which is not good. So let's see. Base is loaded. He gets out of it, but he might be done after four, unfortunately. We're, we're just not going to take any chances. We're just going to take him out. We're going to stand. Oh, God. It's looking like this might be it for us. Alfaro gets on. That was our first hit. Adamus double play, and it's over. Just like that, unfortunately. Okay, Kiermaier gets us back into the game. Come on, two out hit, Devers. Yes, there we go. Tie ball game. And it, we're back in it. We're back in it. Chafin's coming in. We get a walk. A strikeout. Another walk. One out. Mm, not, not able to take advantage of that. Okay, doesn't matter. Eighth inning. Can we get a late run here? A single. Do we have a... Uh, Someone with some speed on f the bench? No, not really. So, Eloy, come on. Strikes out. Devers pops up. Alfaro hit by pitch. Adamus, fielder's choice. All right, so bottom nine. Let's not ruin this. Alrighty. So my dog was losing it. Had to open the door, let them in. So now we're back. We're in a tough spot. Really tough spot. All right. So still in a tough spot. Keep getting interrupted. Dogs. People. It's annoying. <laughs> but Stan can walk it off here, which would suck. Pinch runner. Okay. A strikeout, which is cool. Oh, my God. We got out of it. Perfect. All right. Bottom nine. Let's do this. Uh, anybody hit lefties well? This is a DH spot too? Oh, let's go with Diaz then. And he grounds out. Awesome. We get nothing out of it. All right. Crick, I need you here, man. Okay, that's cool too. Let's do a pitching change. Let's get a lefty in here. Jace Fry. Yikes. All right. Two outs. Gets us out. So we're down one. It all comes down to this. Chapman's on the mound for them. We walk. My dogs are not going to for stuff, which is cool. I'm going to avoid. Uh, I'm going to ignore it now. Comes down to Devers. Are you, uh, come on, bud. You're one for four today. There, there. Yeah. Okay, cool. God, you know what? It was all thrown off. I got my dogs doing weird stuff, knocking stuff over, barking, scratching at doors. Oh, man, that's annoying. That's that's annoying to kind of end like that. But you know what? To be honest. I kind of like this team. I like really like this team. The additions of Jimenez, Devers. Devers didn't really pan out this year. But like the team in general is looking good. Meadows, Robertson, uh, Adamus, Kiermaier, Nate Lowe, Lau, whatever his name is. I mean, for the most part, you got Vidal Bruhan, who's an 87 now. You know, Snell, Glasnow, Yarborough, Greenwood we drafted. Uh, Stanek, Castillo, Alvarado. Most of the players here are still original Rays players. They got a really good farm system for pitchers. They got a really good, like, couple youngsters. Uh, they, we had that shortstop, Wander Sanchez, Wander Franco, that we traded away. Um, so, you guys, like, even if you just kept the Rays team as a whole, it's a really solid team. Add a couple pieces here and there like we did here. This team is solid for a franchise. I might just do a Rays franchise just for fun because... They have a really good core to build around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Rays rebuild. Unfortunately, we weren't able, make, able to make it past the ALCS. Um, but that, that's just how things go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you were new. Like I've been saying, we're, we're super close to hitting 10,000 subs. Let, let's hit that. We're like, we're like 100 away. It would be awesome to hit that. It would be crazy to think that in what? to a year just over a year we've we've hit that mark it's that'd be awesome guys i really appreciate it i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you bring to the channel i'll catch you all in the next video peace